Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a jewelry collection video. I've had this requested quite a few times, so I hope you all enjoy it. I basically went in my room and pulled uh, just some random pieces that are my favorite. So I hope you guys will all enjoy this show and tell. I'm going to start with bracelets. So first up, we have this wood bracelet, which I'm sure you guys have seen in some of my videos. This bracelet is painted black and also has layers of red and silver in different patterns along each side. It's very smooth with different edges around each side of the bracelet and slips on. It's very simple. Next, we have this metal bracelet, which has spider webs on each side. I believe I got this at a Halloween shop. And you can stretch it to fit better on your wrist. And then once you have it on your wrist, you can squeeze it and it will be a little tighter. It's kind of a dark silver and has a shininess to it. Next, we have this flowered bracelet that has different shapes and sizes of flowers. And it has a little hook that opens like that. The bracelet opens like that. Put it around your wrist and then clamp that shut again. A little bit closer. There's no colors on this, so it goes great with any color you may be wearing. Moving on, I have some earrings. First, we have this set of earrings, which make a nice tinkle ringing sound. And they are little stars. As you can see, put this down. I've worn these a lot on 4th of July. I like the way they sound when I walk as they jingle back and forth against my ear. So that is the first pair of earrings. This, which 
is a black wing. Angel wing. I got these because they reminded me of an episode of One Tree Hill. They're very detailed on the wings with different edges to give the details of the wing. So the texture is nice on them. Let's see. Next we have which is a black feather with a skull and crossbones attached to the bottom of it. Let's see if the camera will focus a little bit on that. There we go. So, pair of metal earrings yep. right here they have different colors of orange along them also silver They remind me of colors you would have seen in past decades. these lightning bolt earrings. There are two pieces to them. They can move apart if you like. One of them is a white shiny surface and the other is a stark silver shine. But both can pick up the colors of your outfit because of the shiny texture. As you can see, they're kind of picking up colors throughout the room. And as you move, next we have some bigger circled ones. They have a metal base and then the turquoise that you're seeing is actually like string along with silver beads on the string. Beads can actually move on the earring itself. 
whether you want them at the bottom or towards the top. You can technically kind of change the look of the earring. Those are the earrings that I pulled. Next, I think I'm going to do rings. I'll start with this ring, which is a more of a pinky ring for me because it's smaller. It has a dark silver and a very bright shiny stones. We got whites, blues, and purples in this. And as you can see, it reflects those colors a lot when you move. It catches the light. I also have two rings that are made from shells. The first one has a smooth surface for the shell. Fits on your ring or on your finger. And the second one has a more intricate look to it. And it's also bigger. And it was it's actually they're real shells that have been made into rings. I like the way it looks on my finger. This one, which is one of my favorites, which I know was in a previous jewelry video that I did. It is a big peacock feather. I love peacock feathers. I think they're gorgeous. This is an adjustable ring. You can fit it to whichever finger you like by just pulling or squeezing the parts together. I love the colors, and I also like really big rings like these, so that's it. So this one kind of looks like the first, but this one is adjustable as well. It has a circle look to it. with different colored blues that are also very shiny. Blue is my favorite color, so I have a lot of blue clothing. This last ring is very interesting. It has a very stretchy part to it, so you can fit it on any finger. It is a beetle that has very shiny gems attached to it. It's a gold color with hints of silver. And of course, the different gems make it sparkle in the light. So 
It's very pretty. And I like it on middle finger, but it's personal preference because it does fit on any finger you would like it to. You can even put it on your thumb if you want. We have some necklaces, which I think I have more of out. Start with this one, which was made for me by a friend. It's a choker necklace that wraps around your neck. And it has blues and blacks, as well as a Celtic charm. Headphones. Let's see. It fits like that. And it's a wiry material, so it doesn't feel too tight around your neck. Just perfectly fit. We have this simple necklace, which is just a black string that has a moon pendant with stars cut out of the moon in just a silver color. And it has a simple clasp to attach it. Just a simple piece of jewelry. piece that has different sizes of hoops which is one of my favorites and this is also adjustable you can make it much longer as you can see or you can even make it much shorter if you prefer we have this necklace which was also made for me and I wore this necklace to my senior prom it's a layered necklace so as you can see if I was to put it on the different layers right here it goes down my neck It is a black beads, but some of them have a hint of red, like a dark burgundy to them. Looked very nice with my dress. one used to wear all the time. Once again, it's just a simple black string, but the pendant is a moon and a sun, and if the camera will focus, you'll be able to see the Celtic knots inside the moon and the sun. 
There we go. I really like Celtic jewelry. And this was one of the first pieces that I got. Let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, this one is a very long necklace. It has a very long silver piece. And the bottom part is just a simple red pendant. I really like the silver paired with the red and it looks dark and lighter red in different lights which I like very long you can make it a little shorter or longer if you like because it has the adjustable pieces Another necklace that has just a simple black string, but this piece has it's a glass pendant that's been blown with the different colors inside and wraps around this uh, string of the necklace. It has a simple hook around your neck. As you can see. It has white and black inside of it. Inside of the actual glass piece. Here is another Celtic piece that I got, and both of these next two Celtic pieces have meanings, and I don't remember what the meaning is for this one, but it is a dragonfly with Celtic knots inside of it and around it. Just a simple necklace once again with the black string, but I love the details of the Celtic knots. And this one is another one I got. And it is for like art inspiration, if you could say. It's very detailed. And it's one of my favorites. You can see the Celtic knots inside of it. And they form different hearts as well. In the four different places. And it's on both sides. And is a very heavy piece. Not too heavy or anything, but it's very sturdy. I like it a lot. necklace here, which I also wear a lot, and you've probably seen in some of my videos. It's very long and different shaped. It has different silver chains along with black beads at different points. I like how it lays or how it can move with you. and the feel of the chain. All right, so those were some of my um, favorite pieces of jewelry. I really hope you guys um, enjoyed viewing them, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this show and tell video. Hope you have a wonderful day or a good night. And I will see you guys in the next video.